excited Sunday morning motivation challengers. We are going to be starting a new week for our challenges and this week we'll be going into the letter O. Let me go ahead and recap with you for my letter N. I really didn't have anything substantial in the N category. I can just update with you that my friend's neck surgery went well. So now she's in the recovery process. She did actually come out for our walk last night. So I thought that was pretty encouraging after having surgery on Tuesday to be able to go on a half hour walk by Saturday night. So that was exciting to see her and catch up on how she's doing. And good news on the COVID front for my fam uh, family friends that live in North Carolina. And then our pastor and his wife, they are all doing well and recovering from COVID. So praises on that. Um, our sermon today was on uh, being understood and not overlooked. Don't really have any key things that really stood out to me to necessarily share here. The sermon really went in more into lust and what we do with that lust, you know, adultery and, and so forth. So it was it was a good sermon, but not something that I, I have anything to pull and bring to you today. So not going to linger on that. I did want to uh, just kind of put a shout out to any of you. If you know anything about Caroline with crafting with wine, I know she lost her mother. And so she wasn't doing any of her craft videos around that time. She came back briefly but just wondering uh, if anybody knows anything about her, missing her videos and just hoping that she is doing okay. So if anybody has an update on her, can you leave a comment below for all of us? And then on to the letter O. And so you're wondering why I have this busy box in front of you. This is kind of a new venture I have for organization. And what it is, is this is a drawer and it belongs to an eight drawer storage, um, you know, vertical unit that I have. And each drawer is a different color. And so what I've been doing is throwing things in by the colors of the rainbow. So this is my pink drawer. So these are like my gems and sequins and, you know, embellishments like that. I also have some other ones here. Any, uh, strips I have cut off of 12 by 12 paper or other size paper. I have it in as well. I have some Cricut vinyl. These are my pink paper scraps, some pink embroidery floss, and then just some other like tags and, and whatnot. So that is gonna, has been my new focus. And it wasn't that I went out and bought anything specific for this. It's what I had and I'm making what I have work. But I have decided I need to put like items together. So I've always been very theme oriented, but what do you do with this kind of stuff when you want it on, say, a dog page or a medical page, but you want something pink because there's pink in the pattern paper you're using for that theme? I was going to too many different places. So this has come to be very useful. And when I use my Cricut for Cricut cuts, this has been really good to go grab my scraps out of here rather than you know, cutting a 12 by 12 down or a six by six. So anyway, it's been a positive change. So um, just wanted to share that organization thing with you and give you something interesting to look at. So that brings me to my first O, which is organized for classes and crafts. So that's how I'm working on my craft room right now. But th by the end of this week, I will have to get myself organized and ready to begin teaching on February 1st. So that brings me to just this category here that I will only be teaching online. I'm not a teacher that is willing to go into the classroom at this point. So being the only child taking care of, not that my mom needs my care day in and day out, but to be the only child to be able to go and see her, hang out with her, that's important to me right now. So I'm choosing family over career right now. And fortunately, I'm in a situation home-wise, financial-wise, that I can do that. So um, I have a great respect for anyone that is going out and doing their job in the public 
realm. I, I lift you up and thank you for what you do. I wouldn't have groceries. I wouldn't be able to get gas. You know, just think of the things that you do day in and day out that people are getting up and going out into public and working. So when you are out and about, make sure you thank those people. Even on my walks in the neighborhood, if I see the Amazon van going through the neighborhood and I see the courier, I thank them right on the spot for what they're doing because I couldn't get my Amazon orders if they weren't willing to work. So anyway, so just wanted to share that that is coming up for me. Uh, my schedule will be a little bit busier than what it is now, but it's not going to be a real intense schedule because I'm really cut back in my teaching hours this year. And so um, looking forward to that, looking forward to touching base with my students. So that should be a good time. Uh, leftovers. Yesterday, uh, our two sons and then a family friend and my grandson were here because they were out in the front of the house with cars lined up doing car maintenance. And so I was inside cooking meals through the day, kind of had a grazing, you know, idea that just I'd have stuff available. And as they come in, there'd be food for them. So we have some leftovers to enjoy for a couple days after yesterday's event, but also kind of the standing thing through the pandemic. When I go and stay with my mom, we don't tend to cook on our own but we cook when we're together and so we make sure that we cook enough that we each have leftovers for the week after we've been together so that's that's been kind of a, a thing that we have done all along through you know since last march so um i have a, an, a nice selection of over of leftovers this week so i'm excited about that i'll be eating better than having uh, beef stick and cheese <laughs> to survive on and then what happened yesterday uh, there we had a big oops um, they were trying a new maintenance feature on the cars and a part broke so my son his wife and grandson their car is no longer operable so it is parked in front of our house and I, I loaned my car to my my kids <laughs> anyway so I'm not sure how that's going to play out, but we'll see, right? So good thing we're working from home and I don't need transportation. Um, and let's see, what else did I want to share with you? Um, I think I think that's about it. I hope to get some projects done this week. I've been, uh, once again, focusing on other things, knowing that teaching is coming up. So the play crafting has gone to the wayside for a bit but it doesn't mean that i'm not in here doing things and being productive i'm just being productive in a way to clear off my craft table to make room for teacher manuals and the ability to be back online teaching my students so don't give up on me craft things will come i just am a person that when there is a change in life it takes me a little bit to get back in the momentum of things but eventually i feel i can you know plan all do all and get all done but <laughs> we'll we'll see how that goes so i hope that you are having a great week i think last week went well i think we were all a little afraid of what might have happened but uh praises nothing really bad happened we um are in a new season political wise in our uh, white house and nation's capital so you know i wish the best to everyone who has now stepped in and taking new roles i hope that uh, you are doing well i hope that you are staying healthy i pray that these uh, vaccines will take hold and this pandemic will end very soon i hope that you have a great productive week working on your letter o leave in the comments below or on our facebook page how you are doing with your motivation challenges and just to say hi so i appreciate you being here i look forward to putting up a video for you real soon take care of yourself and take care of your family and friends Bye bye